Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. Over there's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Folks, today we're taking a look at Gen V. This is, of mm. course, season one, episode four, the whole truth. And I've said it before, when we do the lead into these, no idea what to expect. They've been crushing this season mm -hmm. so far. I absolutely love it. Cannot wait to see where it goes. Yeah, this has been so much fun to watch. I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to keep this going and see what happens to our little friend. You know what I don't think we're going to get with this episode? The whole truth. <laughs> I don't think we're getting the whole truth. But do we ever from Vought? I just hope we have to take another shower from all the Vought <laughs> products and sponsorships. Everything Vought. Just, just uh. dirty. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, cool. Are we getting a POV from her? Is she going to go hide in there? She's still hiding? Maybe Sam penetrated the ear canal with uh, his member? <laughs> That's the sum total of your searing insight that Sam skull <laughs> Bob here. Okay, this is Greg. <laughs> and I don't know. <laughs> Sam's stronger than Golden Boy ever was. Oh, wow. Oh. Because we didn't know what was going to happen at the end of that episode. Oh. oh. Because if Vought oh. finds out about this, Doctor, you and I get skull fucked next. Oh, so Vought doesn't even know about this? Mm -hmm. What? Look at that. Well, maybe they don't know about Sam escaping. She found a shoe. Oh. Dude. I found the tracker! There's blood on it. She got, got out of the hellhole? It looks like a meteor crashed here. What were you thinking? I had to do something. And of all people, you went to Emma? She had to the be ability. Fair. Yeah. Yeah, she had the ability. You're two. I'm still five. Rankings? Really? We got bigger fucking problems. Thank you. I was just, yeah. just thinking the same thing. Turns out the school has a fucking Mangala health clinic. We don't know who's in on it. Maybe other professors, Ugh. maybe Dean Shetty. You're just gonna end up like that fucking cricket. Emma. Her name is Emma. I told you not to do anything stupid. Emma might be there. If she doesn't have food to grow, you wouldn't yeah. see her. Hey. Are, uh, oh, are you okay? Did I, did I squash you? You look a little bigger. Did you grow? I think I must have swallowed something. Oh, oh. no. Oh. Oh. Yuck. <laughs> Luke and me used to come every weekend before it closed. Piece of eardrum on your shoulder. No. Oh. <laughs> I killed that guy. Well, uh, he, he was a sadistic asshole. <laughs> His name was Greg, all right? You saved me. I, 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 I gotta get a hold of Luke. That's right. Problem. Emma told him. Uh, uh -oh. Your brother died. Oh, oh. oh she came clean right away. Oh, wow. <laughs> she came. What, what are you talking about? Nothing could kill Luke. He's, 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 he's too strong. He killed himself. There you go. I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. We're here, Sam. <laughs> I'll fuck up somehow. Everybody always leaves me. I hope that's not a foreshadow for Emma's yeah. future. God, this is intense. Oh, Vought Plus. I'm Tech Knight, and I won't stop searching until I found the whole truth. <laughs> ah, there it is. Tech Knight. <laughs> the rising star took his own life. This whole case is a rabbit hole into the unknown. I can't. I not just... see Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go again. I slit a sheet, a sheet I slit, and on the slitted sheet I sit. One. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> just... Love it. That's how it is. It's an honor to have such an esteemed alumnus back with us. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> you hate that I'm here. I make you nervous. Strange how many of your subjects end up dead. I myself have nothing to hide. Right. Uh, Small bead of sweat on your brow. Uh, adrenaline seeping from dude, your he's pores. he's got some super vision. You're ovulating, yeah. by the way. <laughs> I must say, I'm not sure I understand why you're here. What has Ashley told you? Did she tell me that Golden Boy killed Brink in a misguided attempt to rescue his brother from the woods? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's our job. Make sure no one else knows. 
And how do you intend to do that? Obfuscation, find a patsy and destroy their life. You're going to blame an innocent student for Luke's hysteria. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Johnny Depp someone so hard, they're going to want to crawl into a hole and die. <laughs> oh, wow. Just stay away from the top five. You'll manage. I'm going to need access to the tapes from campus surveillance. A full list of golden boys, classmates, girlfriends, fuck boys. Oh. <laughs> And a couple of reflectors from the film department. To me, he came off pretty straightforward. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, he's no nonsense. Could be really wrong. I'm here to fix your mess. Yeah. He's, like, he's like Mr. Wolf. You're right. And I'm sorry. I should have listened. I might also be a tiny bit nice as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad knows everything about the woods. And he told me to drop it. Maybe he's trying to protect you. Oh, I don't want us to be like him. He just, his whole time, he was mixed up in all this. He's not the man that I thought he was. I still oh. feel like the dad is going to get caught in something. Well, maybe the yeah. dad just, I just don't know. know what. Maybe he just knows about it and he's not like involved. Yeah. Crushed under all 700 pounds of his girlfriend. Rufus, <laughs> right? I heard you're a psychic. Totally. <laughs> so I can see astral projection, clairvoyance, and you are. Marie, you're ranked second. Everyone knows you. So you're looking for your roommate, but she's not the only girl you're looking for. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Sister. Wow. There are other ways you can thank me. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Right. This was a mistake. <laughs> hey, come on, I'm fucking with you. I just need something that belongs to her. I can see your friend. She looks rough. Come closer. <laughs> she rolls her eyes. Inside her. Fuck off. Oh, it's not what it looks like. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no, he's no, gonna no, pop no. it. It's gonna pop. No, no. Oh, oh, no. Well, that's how she goes sometimes. <laughs> nice work. Uh, Come on. <laughs> I mean,. You can't really say he didn't have it coming. Piece of dickless shit. Are you okay? That was fucking dope. How'd you do that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> what were you thinking? Asking him for help. You are unbelievable. I would kill to be number two again. I would kill you to be number two again. Are you really gonna throw it all away? I'm not throwing it all away. I'm not, but Emma's my friend. Oh my God. No. You're full of shit. You know I'm right, you're just scared. Tech fucking night is on campus. Since when do you care about anyone not named Jordan? I exploded his dick. <laughs> Tag team cock explosion, right? <laughs> oh my God. Trend, trending. I can't believe that just happened. I mean, oh. I, can't, I can't, I can't. They just always... You'd be fine, you hear me? I wow. need to know that you heard me. Yeah. This goes bad. I won't be able to save you. Need any touch-ups before we go? Bro, is this my frame? <laughs> Five, four, <laughs> three. Let me start with the big question. Why did he do it, Andre? I don't know. I think it's obvious. He couldn't hack it. You're stronger than all of us. Well, that must have been hard for you, knowing that you'd never beat him. It's fine. Fine? If he wasn't at this school, you would have been number one. Maybe, I, I don't know. Brink would have made sure of it. Oh, he's pushing him. Mm-hmm. Have you always been angry at Golden Boy? No, I loved him. You're one of the most powerful heroes on campus. How did you not know he was this disturbed? Wish I had known. Oh, he sets everybody up. Take that glove off. I take your fucking hand off. (laughs) (laughs) What did he say to you just before he died? That he loved me. How long have you been eating Golden Boy's girlfriend's hole? Oh! You wanted what Golden Boy had, his girlfriend, the number one spot. He found out about oh, you and Kate wow. cracked. Am I right? No, 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 that didn't happen until... So it did happen. I think we should take five. You're just a small man playing fucking hero because you've never been one. No, you get treated like a god here. But what kind of hero is a chicken shit to do anything heroic? And that's all on Ooh. camera. Yep. We'll find it in the edit. <laughs> Big you. 
<laughs> no my glory. Well, why do you always do that? Whenever I say something nice, your voice gets all twisty, like it isn't true. Look, I appreciate the compliment, but... But I'm shaking the head. And honestly, after what you did for me, I would uh, eat your puke. <laughs> you know, I take it back, you are sick. I know! <laughs> <laughs> it's scary for me to be out here. And Luke was... He was all I had, so... I'm here now. And I'm pretty cool. That's why I'm positive you'll leave. Trust me, I got nowhere to go. What if I just had, like, 50 nipples under my shirt? That'd be cool. I guess that is just us together. Oh, boy. Together? We're doing some uh, pretty quick bonding. <clears throat> hey, is there um, more, of that, more of that back there? Yes. My puke tastes a lot better. We're both sick. <laughs> Yeah. What is that? I Please think he hears stuff. Stop. Anything going on? You're the dean. Can you get me out of all this homework I've been getting? <laughs> Your roommate's Emma, right? She's the one who gets small. Have hmm. you seen her recently? Stays the night at this guy Austin's place every night. Just checking she's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm surprised that didn't escalate just yeah, a tad. Yeah, I am too. We are fortunate to have a guest lecturer who revolutionized the field in superhero crime fighting. Oh so boy, who's it gonna welcome be? Welcome, a son That's of God you. It's gonna be our boy Tech. Wow, oh, okay, I thought it. Four blockbusters, six people's choice, began in this very class. Today, we will focus on interrogation techniques. So he did that with the glass, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Marie. Marie. Marie Moreau, the guardian of Godolkin. You stopped Golden Boy's rampage. There were others. Andre Anderson. I notice uh, has skipped class today. <laughs> when you start out, you want to establish a baseline. Miss Moreau's body language is open, and she's maintaining good eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> I went to see Professor Brink. Luke had already killed him. We fought. He killed himself. Why were you going to see Brink? I wanted to discuss my class schedule. Oh, a lie. Pupil dilation. See it? It's a classic sign. Was it to talk about his distaste for you? Heart rate just elevated. There's no way he would admit you. And yet here I am. So, not being good enough is a sore spot. He was going to expel you, wasn't he? No. Pretty convenient that he was deep fried that very same day. Were you in on it with Luke? No. I couldn't stop Luke. I went to Brink's because he kicked me out. Only reason I'm still alive is because Jordan Lee held him off long enough for me to get away. It's the story she wanted. There it is. Mm -hmm. Everybody got the truth. Jordan's the hero. And that's how you break a witness, folks. Uh, oh, this guy. <laughs> uh, love how he, how he found his patsy up. to ruin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Take care. Thumbs up. Hi. That was impressive. Digging for the truth is a rush. No one will believe Marie Moreau is responsible for Golden Boy's demise. That's true. Which is why I'm going to pin it on you. Boom. Excuse me? You're right. You, on the other hand, are just a... Well, you're just a human. You have no evidence I've done anything wrong. No? What about Sam escaping from the woods? Oh. Yeah, I saw it on your face when I first brought up his name. Wait till Wallet finds out. Taking the fall for Golden Boy is getting off easy. <laughs> I'm starting to like this guy. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's going to end well. I mean, we for still got to get rid of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True lies, folks. True lies. Wow. <laughs> this is a different type of uh, yeah, the tone, superpower. Yeah, the tone really before. shifted with this yeah. guy. Mm -hmm. Can't run forever, you know. Oh, Just hey. Leave me alone, television's Jason Ritter. <laughs> Jason Ritter. There's only one way to make sure, bro. <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> well, thanks, silly. You know who hurt you. He hurts everyone in the world. God, he looks so much like his dad. He does. Yeah. Dr. Cardosa. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you have to do. Oh, no, God. no, no, no. Well, you know what you want to do. Kill him. <laughs> Oh, I can't. That is that. disturbing. Oh, it's worse than the real thing. <laughs> Brought to you by Water K. Shut up. Shut up. Stop. Emma, I promise I won't. Who's him? Dr. Cardosa. No more talking. Just 
Stop! Please, stop! Okay, well, who's Dr. Cardosa, Sam? He hurt me and he won't leave me alone. Just stop! Please, stop! Stop! Oh, boy. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh, well, he can yeah, jump. Emma's not catching him. Big statue of dad on campus. He's not digging it too much, is he? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's right. still haven't fixed the hole. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. Well, that was... You think anyone will know it was me? <laughs> you okay? I don't know what I'd do without you. What did I do? Nothing. That's all I want right now. It's <laughs> nothing. In that case, you're welcome. What the hell was that back there? I said the truth, finally. I didn't ask you to do that. Yeah, you did. King <laughs> times, actually. But I didn't want you to bury yourself in the process. You keep doing the dumb thing. I don't mean you're stupid. So what's your angle? Sometimes people don't have an angle. Sometimes they're just actual human beings. Yeah, these kids are so f messed up from Vaughn. Yeah. yeah. Everything's got to be a play. Everything's Mark. Yep. Everything's you gotta, this. You got to get in the top five. Yep. I'm so fucking scared. Don't be. Well, what's... Oh, look oh, at that. Didn't see that coming. I honestly didn't. No. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not what you meant. Should have, though. Oh, I mean, look at the that. makings were there. We should have. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it's... Now looking back. They hate each other and all. They love each other. I mean, come yeah. on. I was only mean to you because I liked you. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to... Holy shit! Okay, <laughs> never mind. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, Sam's going after Dr. Cardosa. We have to stop him. Who? Luke's brother. He's actually kind of hot. No, Luke's Cardosa. <laughs> Dr. Cardosa. He used to work with Brink. I know where he lives. Oh, shit. Look at this. Look at Pretty the Cody's guy. Confess got. your sins. Your camera crew? You said leave him behind. She's going to 86 this year. Obviously. Dude. You think dragging me to a secluded area for a blowy is going to save you? Well, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Jesus. But... No. Did you recently no. visit the brain tumor center at Johns Hopkins? You have a small tumor in your brain. It will eventually be fatal, but I imagine you already know that. I'd hazard. You also know it's the cause of your, shall we say, unusual proclivity. Oh, yeah. Is he having sex with food? Yeah. Oh, he's... What? What the hell? He's just anything he can. <laughs> this guy's deal. You still uh, still liking this guy, Quinn? Well, I said we got to get rid of him. <laughs> so how do we think your 18 to 49 demo will fare when we broadcast you despoiling every single hole <laughs> you come across? <laughs> what, what do you want? There's nothing to find at God you or with me. Long as you're off campus by end of day, this video stays off Instagram. Thoughts? That's not what I thought was going to happen at all. No. Huh. I thought this was just going to be the end of him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, and uh, they but, did what they did with this show. Yep. But, well, he's got the <laughs> Let's anyway. see how this goes. Golden Boy simply snapped. Godolkin University remains as resilient as ever. <laughs> he keeps uh -uh. looking at the holes. God, really? <laughs> What's that face? <laughs> With this case behind oh, me, God. I move on to the next mystery. To seek out the whole truth. The whole truth. Oh, therefore the... Yeah, that's oh, why he's okay. always playing with right, them. Give me a few minutes alone. A <clears throat> little uh, foreplay action. Yep. Is he really going to do that in public there? He was doing the car in public. I, I, I understand. That's but where like, I don't get how he wasn't caught before. Yeah, <laughs> He's in the middle of a parking lot that's full of vehicles. It's a tree. Doing the how, does, how does that even? You're just rubbing on tree bark? Don't think physics, Dave. Mm. Uh, Is that my mom's sauce? Daddy! What? Sorry, sorry. Look at me. Just let my family go, please. You're not real. I don't want to. Oh, you don't have to do this, okay? Get least the kids out of there. No. Um, oh. Whoa, whoa. Oh. oh, who's here to save the day? Sam, Sam, you don't want to do this. You, 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 you're one of them. We didn't know who you were then. You are not touching me again. Take Sam, okay, let me help you again. Oh. 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 That was. Can she just grow if she eats bigger, too? Uh, maybe. maybe. Well, remember what her mom was saying. Mm -hmm. There's a chloric intake to stay at a certain... Oh, yeah. 
Oh, I didn't know she could do that. We love Luke. When we found out he was trying to rescue you, we tried to help. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, let me go. Sam, you're all right. I'm sure you're okay. They're going to put us back in the woods. Wherever we go, we promised we're in this together. <laughs> just... Sam, we're going to make this right. I promise. We'll pre Whoa. Whoa. What? What? So what? I mean, obviously. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 Obviously, more? things probably worked out, but what did we just watch? <laughs> that was a hell of an ender, <coughs> folks. <laughs> I gotta be honest, folks. <clears throat> I've seen so Four much episodes, Quinn. <laughs> I know, but I've seen so much with the boys, like you guys were all going nuts about when Marie was doing her thing with the member and making things explode, I was like, I wasn't even phased by it. I was like, of course, of I course was, they're doing that on this show. I was still phased. Real phased. And it's still just phased. like, they've done so much on this show. And I, I'll say it again. I said it with the boys and I'll say it with Gen V that none of the gross out shock value stuff matters without the awesome story that they're doing. Because I mean, I know I'm in the minority here, but they do that stuff and i'm just like yeah whatever okay i know what they're gonna do okay get to it yeah, let's let's forward the story here let's go leave you were yelling it's gonna pop <laughs> because well i mean i was it's but it gonna pop. he's gonna pop <laughs> but the point i'm making is that that stuff is just kind of a side dish to the main meal that is an awesome story that they're putting out here and it's just like I, I feel like i've seen it all already with the boys and they still find a way to do something new but my gosh that was only like what 45 50 minutes or so again they packed so much in all the individual stories going different direction where we're meeting new soups like tech night and at first the guys you're like oh what what an amazing ability this guy has he can read people essentially nobody can lie to him and then uh we find out he's got uh he's got some interests that are are slightly different and he's got a tumor yeah that's true so he's on borrowed time anyways uh to begin with because she said that was eventually going to take him out but it's so funny when they do that because now you look back and you remember the glass and you remember the tape and you know mm -hmm. how he had a yeah. fascination yep. with that and again this show is just crushing it for being four episodes in i wanted to give another shout out to jazz because her acting in this uh, the story she tells with her face is incredible she's so good at it same deal this episode and the uh sam his performance was awesome too. Now I know a lot of times if you if you talk to actors, they say like doing angry is easy and doing crazy can be easy versus you know doing compassion and loving. Just those scenes are harder to do, from what I've been told. Anyhow, uh, he still absolutely crushed this in his role. The the camera angles that they did back and forth with him uh, to kind of show us what he's sort of going through was just just awesome. So again. I know it has all the gross out stuff and the stuff to really like surprise you, but I don't want an awesome story and acting to be lost in all that craziness. So it's been phenomenal. Yeah, this was uh, rather interesting. We actually, we finally see her doing the blood work though inside somebody else's body this yeah. time. And, and yeah, blood bending <laughs> as we're good fans, as we're big fans of Avatar The Last Airbender. But yeah, so like actually doing that and it, it still fazed me, all right? It's still it's still yeah. seeing that freaking explode yeah. as something <laughs> like... horrendous. But yeah, Sam did a great job as far as, you know, talking to the voices and then he's hearing the music and then he wanted to seek out the doctor and here they really band together. And now we also saw that that um, 
Emma can actually get big. Yeah. And so she, she had him pinned to the ground, and then I want to know what happens. And then when they cut out to them, there's Jordan yeah. and Marie in bed. But also, I want to say a shout-out to Jason Ritter, getting Jason Ritter yeah. on the show. Man, he looks just like his old man, which is great. And then Derek Wilson played Tech Knight. That was uh, that was a good job done by him. Uh, wow. we, we're... I wasn't going to say I was a fan of his until the end, but, uh, yeah, he was rather interesting and complex guy. <laughs> he, he likes holes, and that's the name of, his, you know, name of his show hey, is the whole truth. Who are we to judge, right? <laughs> Anytime now, like the way he was emphasizing hole, the, yep, the yep, whole yeah. gambit with hole. The whole truth. He picked up the tape dispenser out of nowhere and just and went yeah. around it, and we we're like, oh, that's got to mean something. Well, sure. and something. Got our answer. <laughs> Pun what intended. A, what an answer. Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. You know, <laughs> so Mason Quinn brings up an interesting point. We've seen the the graphic nature of the violence. We've seen this. It doesn't get old to me because here's here's how my head works. You see somebody with a power, and you're like, oh, that was nasty. But what if they did this? because they have this power. And I think that's <coughs> what the writers do. As soon as you're like, oh, she, she can control blood. Well, then, you know, when I was thinking this episode, remember our, our now vice president with people's heads exploding, yep. you think mm -hmm. she could be able to do the same thing, essentially. Yeah. She takes blood and one organ, why not in the head? Yeah. Um, so so for me, that's that's, I guess, and, and I understand your point as far as how much go more gory can it get, right? But I think for me, it's the it's the what if somebody with this power did this, right? What if somebody with lasers just cut somebody in half? What if you know even in our you know early on in season one, what if you just laser somebody's eyes? What yeah. would happen? And you and they and they give you that. So I think that's what keeps it interesting is that they they answer a lot of the crazy what ifs that fans have so that's why to me it doesn't get old yes you get desensitized a little bit to the, the 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 graphic nature of it because let's be honest there's not a single show out there that i can ever recall seeing that's this graphic even like a saw or like a really like crazy horror movie isn't quite on this level um as, as far as as far as i'm concerned so for me it doesn't get old because i think they keep answering the what ifs yeah. this happened <laughs> Um, interesting um, with Vought's history that we got with Stormfront in the last episode that I believe it was Jordan mentioned um, Dr. Mengele. So mm -hmm. if you're a history person um, in World War II, the Germans had a Dr. Joseph Mengele who did all sorts of horrible experiments. He liked, uh, you know, people with certain disabilities, dwarfs, twins, and he did just just terrible thing to people in the interest of science. So it was uh, curious that they threw that in there, a little interesting piece of history. Um, I thought this was a great episode, really helped develop Emma's character. And I think mm -hmm. all of us kind of pointed out very early on that we had felt that Emma's character wasn't just going to be a roommate, that she was going to be more important. And um, it was interesting seeing her development because she's always kind of been the one who people, you know, back of a letter, lack of a better term, people make her feel small, mm -hmm. right? And this was a term or a, an episode where she kind of opened up to Sam and she was trying to help him and he was looking to her for reassurance. And that was interesting. Um, and, you know, Diamond Dave, now that he brings it up, I do recall the mom saying something where, hey, you got to watch your calorie intake. But I didn't think it was like stuff your face. And because now bigger, it's yeah. like now it's like the Ant-Man, the like she can grow, too. And the, the unanswered question is, how big can she grow? And, you know, with so many of these superheroes, um, strength is such a big component. How strong are they? How strong are they? And they made it very clear that Sam is wildly strong, but he wasn't strong enough to fight off a large Emma. Yeah, so he just, she held down. So <laughs> with, you know, what's interesting is that you'd think Emma would have like a backpack full of food, like really <laughs> calorie dense food if she wanted to, she wanted to grow. So I thought that was really interesting. This whole episode, and we've, we've, I feel like we say this in every single reaction, but it's, it's part of what we do. They pack so much storyline into a short episode and multiple storylines were going on at the same time. Um, of course we had everything going on with Sam and Emma and how were they going to get out of that situation? Um, the crater he can jump it's yep. like like Maeve of course in Marvel movies we've seen the Incredible Hulk just kind of jump like that and he can make his bounds um, we had the story 
with um, Tech Knight, which it took multiple interesting turns, right? Like he was there doing a TV show, but at the same time, he was busting everybody out. And it's like, why don't they just have this guy like sit and interrogate everybody? Yeah. I mean, I mean, think about how much he could streamline our criminal justice system. <laughs> just, you know, this person's lying. They're doing this. They're doing this. So that was interesting. I honestly thought at the end he was going to get um, taken out by our dean and not just, hey, I'm going to blackmail you. But I mean, how many times have we seen um, blackmail or people holding things over their heads? I mean, in the, in the boys that the, 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 the plane video for Homelander that like that was a yep. recurring yep. thing. And so um, but even after they brought that up, they kind of like kept playing it out with his character, which was messed up and uh, a lot of fun. Um, I didn't. I guess you know I was blind to the the tension between Jordan and Marie, but um, yeah, that th seemed to come out of nowhere. That yeah. was that was kind of interesting Classic that they each other that they showed world. those two, and of course for me the the biggest thing of you know the ending and what happened like just all of a sudden you know Marie woke up with Jordan and uh, and that was that and we didn't get any sort of answers to that so this was a really solid episode it was entertaining. It had all the gore you'd expect in very creative, very, very creative ways that, of course, I think some people probably were wondering. Um, but uh, yeah, an another incredible episode. Yeah, I'll kind of talk to Mason Quinn's uh, not surprise factor. I, I'm kind of with you on that, Dave. Uh, it It's just the way they bring up the powers, right? Because you always kind of wonder in some areas, right, of like, well, what if they tried this? What if, like you were kind of saying, what if they did this, this or this? Um, we're kind of seeing some of that actually happen. Now, my thoughts aren't going, can ja uh, can Marie explode a penis? <laughs> I'll tell you, I didn't think of that one. Um, so she can. give them an Emmy now. And she yeah, did. And she did. She did. Uh, you know, with some of the creativity that they're using for this, and I think it's a good platform for them because the boys set them up so nice, mm -hmm. uh, especially with the ratings, and uh, good for Amazon for allowing... I want to take an assumption here, and I'm just probably, this is purely speculation that when they get the scripts, Amazon, they're like, maybe change this, but definitely keep that. Maybe that happens. But I have to assume that some of the stuff that crosses their desk is like, you know, let's try it. You know, <laughs> let's, see what let's see what happens. And kudos for Amazon for allowing this to actually happen. If there is any kind of rewrites, I hope there's some day where we can hear Seth Rogen or whoever can talk about it and be like, yeah, so we actually had this. Yeah. But Amazon said that's actually a little too much, but we're cool with this. Mm -hmm. So maybe those conversations really do happen, but hopefully one day we get to see or hear the stories of that because as we know, if you saw our uh, interview with uh, Kirk and right. Albert, they hint towards a strong, like, hey, yep, day one of the script versus day whatever definitely changes a couple i was literally like dude i'm like major like esp i was literally just gonna bring up our it's interview ESPN. with yeah, ESPN. ESPN. yeah yeah it was literally just gonna bring up our interview with kirk ward not mm -hmm. so much because of what you said script but because kirk had talked to us about um stuff looking good on paper mm -hmm. and then yep. when you visualize it is sometimes like yeah, oh, this, this part of the script oh this seems really cool and I'm wondering if the, they get stuff on the script and then it's going to explode. And there's certain things where like, oh, I don't know. And then when you see it, they're like, oh, it's great. Almost like the opposite of what Kirk had said. That's so funny that you brought up Kirk. That's literally what was yeah, going in my head. Well, I'd use, I'm starting to use that as a base number because finally we got to kind of get a little bit insight. Yes, a little I, insight. Like I told them too, like we get to hear horror stories through the interwebs of, you know, hey, this happened. But of course it's sources, right? So you never know if it's truly speculation. a lot of speculation, but we got to hear it straight from a team that actually has gone through it. So uh, I think Lizzie... Uh, AKA Emma in the show. I think she's the MVP so far, four episodes in. I uh, definitely didn't expect the hookup with Jordan yeah. and Marie. It's definitely very... didn't see that, but and obviously. Both versions, as we saw. Yeah. yeah. Both yeah. versions. Obviously, now thinking back, the, the, the setup was there. Just didn't even think twice about it. Yeah. Because now, kind of looking back, it was yeah. like we were joking. It, I was only mean to you because I like you, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. And I could be off on that too, but that's just how I'm doing it. love. Uh, tech Knight. <laughs> <laughs> what a character. What a character. 
I don't even know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but to what whoever said it, you know, he could be a true asset to the uh, to the criminal justice oh, system. Yeah. But uh, it sounds like his time's probably not going to be lasting yeah, too know. much longer. But I, I thought it was interesting how they pinned him in the corner with all that stuff because the swerve <laughs> you yeah. get, like, where did she get all that? I mean, she explained it, but yeah. it's like how <laughs> I, how does tech? And I get it, you know, some uh, some uh, things you just can't control. You just your pul- your impulse just takes over, right? <laughs> control. So, <yourself. laughs> but, but you would think a guy in his position with how well he can think. pinpoint the truth, mm. uh, I probably wouldn't put him in that. But that's what's great and unique because I'm sure there's some true life aspects of some highly held regard people, but they got some it's crazy, some fetish. odd, some odd stuff going on mm-hmm. inside, which is hey, rock on, I guess. We don't, uh, ju- we don't judge. No yeah. judgments here at Bad no Medicine. Here. No judgments. Uh, but otherwise, uh, overall, <laughs> I'm curious again, and I don't know if it made the cut. I'm curious about polarity because that everyone that mm-hmm. seems to be, and the reason why is because everyone that seems to be getting pulled into the story, something happens, and his dad yep. is keep just yeah. keeps kind of slowly getting pulled in. So I he feel does. like something's going to happen to his dad. I just don't know what. I don't know if he's going to get put in a position to, you know, take on Andre or, yeah, is, you know, as someone who's going to come after come clarity around. because of Andre, that kind of thing. Yep. Well, he's trying to tell him to stay out of it because he wants to protect his son because he knows once you go right. into the forest, you're going to come but back. He, and so I think he doesn't want to get dragged into that. He wants him to be number no. one, though. Yeah, his, he wants him to work with the He wants son. him to be in the side. And then uh, with Sam, too, he's such a wild card, and I love the wild yep. cards because – I mean, we just saw him whoop a lot of ass there, and I, the, we don't know when he's going to snap. Yep. I mean, I, that's the vibe I get out of Sam yep. here. Well, yeah, I, and I, the thing I, that I was hoping for when uh, Emma and Sam kind of had their moment a little bit in the movie theater, I was like, oh, God, please don't hook up with them. He's clearly crazy. This is the last <laughs> thing you need right now. Let's just keep this guy under control for a little bit. So I was glad they went a different direction with that. And for then, now. For, and then later – Hit us with uh, with Marie's and uh, Jordan's romance, so that was that was good to see. Yeah, if, if I mean, I don't know how this is in the best step. Well, granted, we're four in easily the best episodes far because the way they, that they keep building. Yep. And I this, think the they story keep is just so, yeah. the story of it is just so damn good, and they got you sucked in multiple angles. What can you say? Look at that, we're sucked in halfway through the eight episodes that we got to do. So that was four. So four, Diamond Dave, Afton Oak. That's Mason Quinn. I'm of course the answer. We'll catch you on the next one, pals. It's gonna pop. <laughs>